okay so what's going on guys welcome 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 to another video and today we are going to talk about how to beat the dev time in deep sea driving so basically this guide is gonna be 70 percent focusing on how to dodge the fan blades and 30 percent on the other areas so anyway what i want you to remember is that i won't have you memorized on how the fan blade spin like if you get this time, when you reach this time on the fan blade part, you will need to dash on the left side or at the right side or jump over, whatever. So I want you to focus on the key point here being use U-turn. Use U-turn to better position yourself. Remember that phrase. Use U-turn to, to better position yourself, to reposition yourself. And that basically we will use that technique to dodge the fan blades and react accordingly so with that said let's begin <clears throat> okay so like what i did in gingerbread joyride i am going to divide this particular track into three segments the first segment starting from the starting line up to the turbo pad ramp after the first kraken and then from the from that turbo pad ramp up to the ramp before the tubes, before the fan blade area. And then from that, from the fan blade area to the starting line again. So let's begin. Oops, we stop there. Go back. Go back to the starting line. Okay. So the moment it begins, as usual, power slide and turbo boost. I would like you to do at least three turbo boosts here so that before you land on the area where your heart slows down, where it feels like there's a mud, at least we have the level three turbo boost fire. One, yes! two, three. So that see the change see, this? see how your fire color change from just red orange to bright orange bright yellow orange there we go it's faster and that's to mention we have more reserves bam jump jump position and then the moment you turn here do at least two turbo, turbo boost Perfect. And jump here. Cut this area. Power slide again. And do a single turbo boost. To better reposition yourself while turbo boosting here. Apply U-turn tech as you can see here. Basically the same thing that I did with Gingerbread Joyride. If you watch that video of mine. Around after the first shortcut then here if you're using speed drift and axle stay at the left side because the fan blade here always begins from this part from the right it goes from here to here and with the speed of speed driving style drift and axle you will reach around this time the moment it starts appearing which is here so the best way to consistently dodge it is to stay at the left side for the first lap it's always applicable for the first lap and i believe it's also applicable for the second or third lap but yeah for speed yeah for speed for speed and drift There we go. Alright, so for the next segment, let's let it play out. Whoops, stop there. Go back to the ramp. Okay. So for this ramp, stay at the left mode leftmost side so that you can cut corners. I think I jumped at the end of this ramp. 
just to be safe. Just to be safe. Jump at the highest point of the ramp so that you can cut corners here and then before you land, or rather the moment you land, do you turn to the left a bit. There we go. So you have seen me doing it. And then <clears throat> before we reach the tube area, the fan blades area, we would want to have as many reserves as possible. So my advice here in this area is to do at least two turbo boost. One to two turbo boost, perfect, of course. That's not the optimal way based on world records, but our only aim here is to defeat is to defeat the dev times anyway. So <clears throat> I want you to boost here and to get as many reserves as possible. So that once we reach the fan blade part, you only need to focus on dodging them. You don't need to worry about maintaining your blue fire. So let's see. One, two. Perfect. Then here, jump a bit early from the ramp. Jump early. Bam, bam. Power slide, jump, or apply whatever tech you want to turn in this curve path here. Well, personally, I just jump and then you turn a bit. I like what you see here. And then do at least two turbo boosts. Perfect. Bam. Okay, now we're here in the fan blade area. I want you to remember, I mean, I do said before that I won't have you memorize the position of the fan blades, but maybe it will help if you know how they spin. So there are a total of four fan blades here. The first two being quite apart, while the last two being really near each other. So for the first two, remember that the first one spins clockwise. And then the second one spins counterclockwise. The third one spins counterclockwise again. And then the fourth one spins clockwise. So clockwise, counter, counter, and then clockwise. Okay, before we reach that ramp, let's go back again to here. Okay, remember what I said at the beginning of this video that um, you turn to better reposition yourself. And that's what we are going to do. So we have a lot of reserves already reaching this area. So we don't need to power slide that much. Although at this first particular area, um it helps definitely helps if your power slide and then the moment you do one power slide then you can just focus on you turning like what i did here the moment i feel like i'm going to go at this curve here i press the u-turn buttons so that i can position myself properly Then here you see the first <clears throat> fan blade. And it definitely helps if you stay around the middle of the tube. The middle or around a little bit to the left. Because you'll be able to see or react better. More time to react for the fan blades. Like what I did here. So this one spins clockwise. So it's gonna go there, and that means by the by the time I arrive there, it would be around here maybe. And also, look at this again. U turn buttons. Then stay, at, stay around the center or around left a bit. This one is easier to see. Then remember that it spins counterclockwise. But the thing here is that. It 
for some reason, I observed that this particular blade here, you can always dodge this by staying to the right as long as you have the same time as me, I guess. And anyway. Also, it's always advisable that you dodge it by staying at the right side for the second fan blade because <clears throat> by dodging here, not only you will cut corners, but also you will be able to see the third and fourth fan blade. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, here you can somehow get a view of the final two blades. So the third fan spins counterclockwise and you and it's easy it it's really easy to react to because I mean as you can see here basically this is where you're going to go through, right? And then for the final blade it's kinda hard to see here but you will have time to react once you reach around this area near the third fan. So, what can you say from this based from analysis? So, based from analysis, we remember that the final fan blade spins clockwise. So, being in this position, that means that by the time you reach there, it's going to be around here, be around this area. So the best path to take for this one is to go from center to right. Apply the U-turn tech if you need to. You need to reposition yourself, okay? Here we go. Like what you see me do for a brief moment there. There we go. I press the jump, break, left, and down buttons it's basically with my reflex now oh and then the moment we reach this turbo pad you can choose to jump or power slide and turbo boost more reserves the better bam okay here just continue power sliding turbo boosting <clears throat> If you can, kindly do at least two turbo boosts here. If not, then one will do like what I did in the video. Up again, same path. Power slide and turbo boost. U-turn if needed. So that you can continue hugging the wall. Hybrid U-turn. Because you didn't press jump. But I think I'll press jump. Yeah, I pressed jump. <laughs> okay. Press jump to bet. Press the user buttons including jump to continue hugging the wall. Stay at the left side. Then here, jump at the left most part again of that turbo ramp. Moment of U-turn. Then one or two turbo boosts in this part, in this area. What I said earlier. Jump. Bam. Bam. You can power slide here. Twice or once, power slide again, and then use the U-turn buttons. Reposition yourself. Here comes the blade again. So since this one is positioned like this, if we analyze it. The best path to take is around this one around this one because if we do go here um not to mention it would be quite weird and too late already to go here because of the terrain and you are most likely to get it because at this distance the blade will be around this part so if you go here you will you would get it by these things here Then here, like what I said earlier, it's always to the right. More corners being cut and then airtime gives you more view, 
more time to react to the third fan blade. Okay, so for this one, again, it's the same as from the first lap. So the best path to take is from the center, around the center to the right. Yes. <laughs> then repeat for the third lap. Got the crack in here. Dump. Two turn. Power slide twice. Dump early. Dump early. Jump, position, power slide twice, U turn, U turn, U turn, U turn, jump. Oops, let's go back there. Because the blade's positioning somehow, some, somehow changed. Okay, jump. So, from this view, I would react to the third fan blade by staying at the center. But for the fourth one, it appears that we can no longer take the path similar to first and second lap. So that means from this position, we can see that it's in this area. And once again, remembering that it spins clockwise. If you want to read a place if then you have to go to the far left. Far left. Use U turn buttons to reposition yourself. Like what I did here for a brief moment again. Oops, it's really fast. I really pressed it really fast. There we go. Press the U turn buttons again. And finally, that's the end. Um, so, beating the ghost here is definitely possible with drift based from my performance, and I believe it's also possible with Axel. You just really have to cut corners really well. And of course, it's definitely possible with speed, but I used drift for you guys because I believe that it may be easier for you. Maybe easier for you because the drift has a little bit of more turns that than speed okay so before I end this video I would like to give a summary basically points to remember so first do as many turbo boosts as possible perfect turbo boosts before the fan blade areas and then so that the moment we reach that area we can just focus on dodging the blades by applying the u-turn tech then third Cut as many corners as possible. Imitate my racing line if you have to. But like what I always say, you don't have to follow it exactly. Don't have to follow it exactly since it only serves as a guide. If you have a certain racing line you are comfortable with, then you are welcomed to try it to defeat the dev time. Then what else? Mm, yeah, that's it. Okay, so once again... If you enjoyed my video, if you learned something from this, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you want me to make more of this, please please do comment what specific track you would like to see next. I also start polls in my community sub in my channel, so if you see anything, anything, anything there, vote for it if you are having difficulty beating the dev time there. So... Yeah, guys, much love. See you next time.